Weather forecast. Now we're back with meteorologist Logan Westrobe. Logan, I need you to make a call to Mother Nature. What's going on with the snow? <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have some warmer weather in store, but we have to get through some wintry precipitation, at least for the first half of the day for today. Let's show you what we have in terms of radar. This is up towards Susquehanna County, Halstead, Oakland, New Milford, all seeing some snow at this point. So if you're traveling up and down I-81 at this point, there might be some very low visibility. So allow yourself a few extra minutes out on the roadways. Also down towards uh, Muncie, Hughesville, Picture Rocks, also seeing some mixed to even some snow changing over at this point thanks to that moderate snow band that's currently moving through. And if we zoom out a little bit, you can see that it was in central Pennsylvania just about an hour or two ago. Now it's slowly moving towards the Wyoming Valley, and we're going to continue to track this over the next few hours as it heads towards the Poconos. But you can see it indicated by these darker blue shadings is where we have some moderate to even some heavier snowfall at this point. It will continue to move off towards the east, and we will eventually clear out by this afternoon. Uh, the photo in Munson, we got this in from Chris, um, got some nice snow coated onto the grass. You can see anywhere from coating to one to two inches is generally what we are going to see with this event. We'll step you outside here to Dallas as well. We can also see some snowflakes falling here as well. Temperatures right around the freezing mark. So and now that the temperatures slowly starting to drop a little bit, just be alert for some of those icy spots, especially in those higher elevations as you are heading out the door right now. But those pavement temperatures mostly into the valleys currently coming in above freezing. But if we do get some of those heavier snow bands to move through, that can drop the temperatures just a little bit closer to the freezing mark. You can see out towards central Pennsylvania, those road temperatures already back into the upper 20s. So allow yourself some extra time out on the roadways as well. We do have those winter weather advisories that are in effect for much of this morning. This is the area that we do have the best chance of seeing those icy conditions along with some of those snow covered roads in those higher elevations. So with future cast, we'll kind of time things out for you with the remaining parts of this storm. You can see around 10 o'clock still seeing that line of snow right around the Wyoming Valley. That's going to progress eastward around 12 o'clock. It will start to lighten up a little bit as well, especially as it heads towards the Poconos, but we'll still be left with some rain and snow showers, especially down towards our south. But then by this afternoon, that starts to exit out of our region. We are going to be left with some of those clouds starting to break. We might even see some sunshine before the sun does set around 5 o'clock tonight. So we are going to clear things out. Temperatures will actually warm back up into the upper 30s when we do see some of that sunshine returning for this afternoon. But still, some icy spots this morning, so please take it slow out on the roadways. And just to kind of recap everything for you, we are going to see more of that rain and uh, snow continuing to mix for much of this morning. Still, the elevation is a big key in this, and there are going to be some slick spots as well if you are traveling. So with the snow totals looking from anywhere to a coating up to one to two inches of snow, locally three in some of those higher elevations, particularly in Susquehanna and Wayne County. And then the storm will exit by this afternoon. We will start to see some partial clearing. So your eyewitness weather forecast for today will reach into the lower 40s. Still looking for that rain and snow mix before we give way to a few uh, peaks of sun by this afternoon. Temperatures tonight drop right around the freezing mark at 32, but still on the breezy side, but at least we stay dry with a partly cloudy sky. Your seven day forecast as we head into the early parts of next week, we stay dry with a mix of clouds and sunshine for Monday into Tuesday, a little bit warmer into the upper 40s for Monday, Tuesday into the mid 50s, and we stay with the mid 50s as we head into Wednesday, but we are looking for an area of low pressure to move in with some rain showers, and then Thanksgiving dries out with a mix of clouds and sun. You can always download the Eyewitness Weather app to your phone or tablet. Track this wintry weather moving through the region at this point, and you can always find more at pahomepage.com. So just take it slow out on the roads this morning. Yes. We'll continue to track that for you the rest of the morning, too. All right, sounds good. Thanks, Logan. Stay tuned. Eyewitness News continues with sports right after this break.